I think you are in a very, very important role in the States of Affairs in the world today to chair the Arctic Council. We remember the ministerial meeting in Rovaniemi, and it happened to be the first meeting where the ministers, the foreign ministers of the eight Arctic states could not agree upon a substantive declaration. Is the cooperation spirit in the Arctic Council as good as you thought when you, or before you took over the chair? Well, thank you. It's a, it's a good question, and uh, a lot has been made out of uh, that we didn't have a, a full-fledged declaration. But we have to bear in mind that this is for the first, no, second time in the 20 year, three years of uh, the Arctic Council that all of the ministers, all of the eight ministers were there. There was a ministerial statement which uh, reaffirmed uh, the principles of the Arctic Council. And also, we got uh, a total support for our principles and also uh, a guideline for the work in the working groups. And uh, we shouldn't underestimate the core of the work in the Arctic Council, which are the working groups, uh, because that work is extremely important. It seem, it, it uh, is simply that we are gathering information and data which we can use in our policy. But at the same time, when you have not only uh, people in the Arctic, but also uh, people outside the Arctic working together in, in uh, those groups, uh, it couldn't be underestimated. So, so far, so good, but of course we know the challenges are there.